Hi, I'm Jemima Steinfeld. I'm the deputy editor of Index on Censorship magazine, and I have just facilitated a session in the British Library sponsored by the Noel Coward Foundation, which looked at Noel Coward's plays, some of them that were censored by Lord Chamberlain, in part for Banned Books Week, and also because it's 50 years since Lord Chamberlain's office was closed. What we hope people who came to the session would have got out of today are quite a few things. Firstly, I think we just wanted to introduce them to the history of theatre censorship, show that it did exist until actually really, really recently in a very kind of official form. We ended with a few current examples, so I think we kind of wanted them to walk away realising that this still goes on. It goes on globally, but also there are examples of it still happening in the UK. So we wanted them to have a sense of kind of what censorship means in an artistic theatrical process, why it should be fought against, why it's happened, how it still affects. And finally, I think we wanted to show how it changes culturally throughout time. So some of the things that were being censored in the 1920s, we wouldn't censor now. Equally, there were bits of the plays that they were picking up on when we got them to go in and be Lord Chamberlain. We said go in as if you're Lord Chamberlain from the kind of the 1920s and 30s, but they obviously come at it from 2018 with their own views and biases. And so some of the people were picking out things that maybe would not have been considered controversial at that time and are now considered slightly more controversial. So we wanted to show that free speech is so important to uphold because what you might find offensive someone might not find offensive later and vice versa and that's why it's really important to guard these values and to make sure that everyone feels that they can freely express an opinion. Well my experience here was really inspiring. I learned so much about censorship and um, why that's important with theatre or why defending censorship is important. Um, I also just think it was a really interesting and fun experience too. It's not every day that I can just see um, actors who um, have worked with the globe like in this tiny room just up close and personal and learn from them and like learn how censorship played a role um, back then and continues to play a role today.